It's been a crazy semester with snow, sleet, more snow, and a vacation week. But we're happy to report that finally we're back. Good, Good morning, morning, Staples. Staples. Good morning, Staples. It's Thursday, February the 27th. I'm Hannah Foley. And I'm Thomas Jones. We've got new TV classes on period two and period eight. We've worked hard to learn how to produce Good Morning Staples, and we'll bring you our first show right after the pledge. Would you all please stand? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We started learning how to create Good Morning Staples around the time of the Super Bowl. For many people, especially Bronco fans, the commercials were more entertaining than the game. We asked some members of our community which ads they thought were the most memorable. Here's what they said. We went around the school and asked people what their favorite Super Bowl commercial was. My favorite one was the David Beckham H&M commercial. I liked the pistachio commercial. I liked the Budweiser puppy. Uh, my favorite Super Bowl commercial is definitely the Seinfeld one because I like to uh, watch the reruns. We liked the Eminem commercial and the dog and horse Budweiser commercial. Okay, my favorite Super Bowl commercial was the insurance one because if you retweet it, you get the chance to win like $1.5 I liked the Tim Tebow commercial. Hope you enjoyed the game, Staples. Some of our student athletes may end up playing in the Super Bowl someday, or college championships, or other big games. And just like the pros, they have some habits and superstitions of their own. Here are some of our student athletes' pre-game rituals. People around Staples have different pre-game rituals. Me personally, I like to listen to music and relax. Let's go see what other people see. Well, um, what I usually do, like before a meet or something, like before it starts, I usually run either a really intense warm-up or, let's say, three minor ones, like, might be half a mile each. So, that usually gets me going, it gets my general adrenaline up. So, before volleyball games, I have to take exactly four sips of my water bottle and I braid my hair twice because I can never, like, get it just perfect enough the first time. My pre-game ritual before every game is to do my hair in a braid. Before each game, we all put our hair in ponytails and then braid the ponytail. Yep. yep, and sometimes we listen to music as well. Before games, I tie my shoes once and then untie them and tie them again. I listen to music. Good luck in your game, Staples. At the top of the show, we talked a little about second semester. There are special challenges for second semester seniors, and those challenges sometimes create some dilemmas for their teachers. We asked some of them to give us some perspective on teaching classes filled with students in their last few months at Staples. What's going on Staples? I'm Jack Greenwald. Uh, me and my group went around to see what some teachers thought of second semester seniors. Here's what we got. Not happy about them. I don't like them. Never have, never will. So far what I've seen uh, for second semester seniors is they're still working hard for me, which is a good thing. Yeah, actually what I would say about second semester seniors is that I remember when I was one and I really was becoming very, very disconnected from what was going on in school because I was so ready for the next step, which is actually one of the nice things right now about the internship program, which gives second semester seniors something worthwhile to do. Are a lot less involved in their studies, I'd say, as far as from what I see in the library, and they're more about, you know, socializing and having a good time. Um, I might be a little bit nervous come April and when the weather starts getting warm. They just don't get it. They, they end up taking all this time off and then they lose credit and then they end up missing their internship. So uh, what's one piece of advice you'd give a second semester senior like me? Stay in school. No more senioritis. 
try to avoid procrastination at all costs. Um, I think that's kind of one of the worst things is that when you put something off and put something off and you kind of think that it's just going to go away and then you end up with a mountain of stuff to do. So if they just work on things a little bit at a time, just kind of like everybody else, I think that'll definitely help them. Uh, high school is a great time in your life, especially senior year, so I do think that they should enjoy it. Um, enjoy it as much as you can. Um, you know, stay safe and um, continue with studies. Uh, maybe slack off a little bit, but when, once you get to college, you're not going to be able to slack off. So, so keep your uh, keep into the studying and uh, just enjoy. It. Now you've got a teacher's perspective on second semester seniors. Not that you have to listen to that advice or anything, but now back to the host. We're blessed in Westport with many exceptional restaurants. One of the newest is called Java. Here's our review. Hey Staples, I'm Izzy. And I'm Carly. And we went and checked out the new coffee shop in downtown Westport called Java. Let's check it out. Hi, my name's Todd Rippo. I'm the president of Wake Up and Live Incorporated. Everything we bake is from scratch from our bakery daily. We, make real, we use real ingredients um, that our mothers would be proud of. We make our whipped cream, we make our own salsa, we make our own hummus, we make our own house-made tortilla soup. You can eat super clean. If you want to come in with a special order, we have something called build your own breakfast. And you can just say, I want two eggs, an avocado, and two slices of bacon, and we'll make that for you. My favorite thing on the menu is huevos rancheros. My favorite thing is the chai tea latte. This in Westport is my first John Out East with what I consider to be a boutique alternative to big box coffee. I'm excited to be here in Westport. So there it is, Staples. There's Java. Now let's throw it back to the host. One of the great things about Staples is that there are opportunities everywhere to learn new skills and to hone interests. Some of those are just for fun and some may turn into career choices. As you'll see in this next piece, one member of the class of 2014 has gotten incredibly adept at mixing audio. Rolling. Hi, I'm Thomas Jones. We recently had a guest in the media lab, the Bedlam Brothers. Here's my report. I'm here in the media lab with Alex Fasciolo. Alex, tell us a little bit about your job. So I was the head recording engineer for the Bedlam Brothers session, and I am the head recording engineer in the media lab for Live in the Media Lab. What I do is I am in charge of what mics go where and how we actually capture the sound of the band. Sounds good, Alex. How'd the recording session go? The session went really well. We actually banged out 19 different songs, and the band said that if they didn't get 14 of them for an album, that they'd be psyched. So I'm really optimistic about it. Another cool thing we do here in the Media Lab is live broadcasting. Here's Remy Bonnet to tell you more about it. Hi, I'm Remy Bonnet. I'm president of Live from the Media Lab, and we broadcast bands live on Cablevision and the radio. And we'll be expecting one of these days, like Violet and the School of Rock. So check out our advertisements on TV and let's throw back the top. We have some good things to look forward to this semester. If there are any aspiring artists that want to broadcast, talk to Mr. Honeycutt or Remy Bonnet. Another of Alex's passions is working behind the scenes at Staples Players. He and the rest of the group are hard at work on the spring production. And as you'll see in this next piece, it's unlike any other show they've ever produced. Hi, I'm Justin. Staples Players Upcoming Productions Avenue Q. I got a chance to interview some of the cast members, as well as Rick Lyons, who was an original Broadway cast member of the show.
Hi, my name is Jacob Leaf. I play Trekkie Monster in Avenue Q. Trekkie Monster lives on the top floor of the Avenue Q apartments, and he's obsessed with the internet and his social life. Hi, I'm Zoe. Um, I'm in the ensemble of Avenue Q, and I play various puppets and humans throughout the show, and I sing backup in a lot of numbers like Purpose and The Opening and The Sex Beat. Well, I'm Colin, and I'm in the ensemble, so I get to basically create my own character, and I um, play various uh, humans and puppets in different scenes. I got a chance to interview Rick Lyons, an original Broadway cast member of Avenue Q. I asked him uh, what his role is with the kids and about his background. Hi, my name is Rick Lyon. I am uh, the creator of the Avenue Q puppets, uh, Avenue Q being the musical that was on Broadway, a Tony winning uh, Broadway musical from 2004. Uh, I, in addition to designing the puppets, I also was in the original cast of the show. And I'm here at Staples to help uh, teach puppetry workshops to the cast of the upcoming production here. Uh, Avenue Q is a very special show. I asked Rick what's so special about it. The, the basic premise of the show is sort of like all the wonderful characters that we grew up with on TV. Uh, when we were kids, telling us, oh, you're special. Oh, you're, you know, your life is going to be wonderful. Uh, what if they had to grow up with us? And what if they had to see the world through our eyes instead of the rosy-colored eyes of childhood and had to deal with problems that we deal with now, like unemployment or dating or whatever? So that's what makes the show so different. That's the million-dollar idea that is Avenue Q. What happens when these characters have to grow up and have to learn about contemporary problems, not ABCs and 123s? It sucks to be broken, unemployed, and turning 33. It sucks to be me. If you were gay, that'd be okay. I mean, cause hey, I like you anyway. That's my report. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll have more promos about Avenue Q in the upcoming weeks. But for now, here's Trucky Monster with one last thought. Come see Avenue Q! But if you were queer, uh, okay. I'd still be here. Nikki, I am trying to read this book. Year after year, okay. because you're dear to me. Next, here's Steve to talk about another unique opportunity for all of you. Good morning, Staples. Today after school in the Media Lab, WWPT Sports will be planning the broadcast for all spring games. If you are interested in doing play-by-play -play or color, be in the lab at 2.15. No previous experience is needed. See you there. Up next is some news from Guidance. Good morning, Staples High School. Ed Heideck over here at Guidance. Hey, listen. I'm checking out on the computer the total number of Staples students who have pre-registered for next year. And I got to tell you, we're in tough shape. Snow days, left and right, cancellations. We do still have time. We got to get you all in here. Staples Guidance Suite is the place to be. Pre-register now. This morning's show contained pieces from both the TV classes. We'll be joining forces again for the next two weeks. Due to cap, those shows will be shortened to 10 minutes, and both the shows will air on Wednesday. Before we finish today's show, though, we want to give you this background information about the CAP tests. Starting on Tuesday, March 4th and ending on Thursday, March 13th, all sophomore students will take the Connecticut Academic Performance Test, or CAP. All students will be tested in math, science, and reading and writing. Students will be tested for a total of seven days. There are special schedules for those seven days. Those schedules are posted outside the guidance of the cafeteria. Also, schedules will be posted on the SHS website. The CAP review sessions will take place after school during the last week of February and the first two weeks of March. Schedules are posted outside the main office, the front desk, and on the SHS website. All right, Staples, that's about it. If you have any questions, please ask your guidance counselor. We're glad to be back and we'll have shortened shows for you for the next two Wednesdays. Bye. Bye.